All right. Hey, Leo. So I'm doing an energy check in for your ghosted situation or your excuse. All right. It's not you. So I'm going to kind of combine those throughout the uh, signs just to kind of see that everybody might be going through something different. Um, we're going to get to that in just a little bit. At first, I'm going to pull your energy and how you feel about this person. So if that doesn't resonate, you guys check those other placements, Moon Rising and Venus. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. All right. We have a 30-day intention set from the, the day that you watch this. Okay. So let's just see where Leo's energy is. Leo, 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 Leo. Your energy. What are you guys at? What are you doing, Leo? You got your three of wands. Maybe waiting for that person to come back in, right? Are my ships coming through? Are my ships coming in? We also got justice card showing up and the devil. So I feel like you kind of go back and forth in your feelings. It's like you want this person to come through. And then if they're not coming through, you could be mad and be like, I hope karma gets on, blah, blah, blah. Especially if they if they ghosted, right? Um, You know, I think we, we're all guilty of having those feelings. And, and sometimes they're within their rights, especially when people drop off the face of the earth with no explanation, no nothing. Um, we're not there yet. Okay. But I kind of feel like you just, it's kind of like just, you know, karma, 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 karma is what I see with justice and the devil card, man. I feel like this is like, um, you know, you want answers, you know, you, you have questions, but I also feel like sometimes you guys could just kind of deeply go into the F bomb and all that good stuff with that devil card, because I feel like, you know, um, this person could be, uh, just with, based off their actions, it could be bringing out the, the, what you might consider to be the worst inside you i won't judge that just because i don't i don't know who you guys are individually uh but yeah are they coming back around right are they coming back you have that twice okay so let's just see how you currently feel about this person how you feel about the, oh gosh yeah you're you're like no nah, this person's a player and they use me as an option uh, but again, I feel like your your feelings are going to go from, they're going to range from real deep to, uh, you know, screw, screw that person. All right. The three of swords comes through with the knight of wands. Um, you know, that guy actually fell in reverse. Um, and you guys know what the, the indication of that means, right? We got that player energy, somebody who's just chaotic, uh, you know, somebody who just acts and then don't think and then things after that, after they do the action, right? We have the six of pentacles coming through also. So as far as how you feel about them. I feel like the three, the six of pentacles, um, does have some sort of relation to that justice energy. I want balance. I want peace. I want closure. Okay. Um, if this person comes back through, I'm going to have to think about it and contemplate whether I want to bring them back. Okay. At one point in time, you guys could have had these deep, deep feelings for this person. Um, and then, yeah, they go and pull some stuff like this. So let's just see who we're talking about. What is their energy? What is their energy? Who is this person? We got the world card coming through. You got Capricorn energy. There's some Scorpio energy showing up from the past, right? You got Taurus. And then we have the Six of Wands, which is also going to be Leo. So it could be any of those signs that you're dealing with. Um, but their current energy, it could look like... Um, okay, so with the Six of Cups, what I'm going to say is this. Somebody could have returned in their past. Okay, the world card could very well be that it, there was something that they got to go close out. They, ha they have to close a cycle out, okay? That could be what is representing, um, you know, um, in their life right now. So something from the past came back. I'm, I kind of see that through the Six of Cups. And that could be why they have not returned or they're not returning right now, okay? Um, so if it looks like this person's kind of moving on, moving forward, um, they did in a sense, right? They are in a sense, but I, I don't, and don't go jump into conclusions about the uh, romantic aspect. It might not be that, but there's definitely something that they got to close out before they can, uh, before they can come back. Okay. Um, and you know, this, it could be children. It could be parents, it, you know, um, p mom, dad, you know, baby mama, baby daddy, whatever, you know, I almost feel like there's something that just, it's like, almost like I got to go take care of this, um, before I can really move myself forward. So I want to see um, how things were left between you and this person. And this is energy that you're not going to be aware of. That's kind of what I feel at this point. It could be that you've wondered what happened. Uh, is it the baby mom? Is it the baby dad? Like what's really going on with this person? Did they move on? Okay. Um, you know, and, and it could be too that that knight of pentacles energy just indicates how slow um, the movement has been between you and them. All right. So let's just see how things were left. How, how were things left with you guys? How are things left with Leo and the person on their mind? 
we got the page of cups coming through right here we have the four of swords and then we have the eight of swords okay so what i'm gonna say is this um uh, i'm gonna okay i i honestly feel like you guys have been ghosted in this connection um the reason i say that is because uh the 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 conversations could have been very very flaky very very um, confusing very very just uh whatever and then boom it's like they're gone I say that because we have the Four of Swords coming through and the Eight of Swords. So, you know, when you combine those two, that's really unhealthy ways of thinking. All right. So this is like, I see the Page of Cups. That's being really quiet, really withdrawn, one word text, you know, that kind of business. And I feel like, you know, it's, you just kind of left, got, you kind of got left spinning, um, right? In your head, like, what the hell? You know, everything seemed to be go going okay. And then this person just falls off the face of the earth. If they indicated having any kids, you know, I'm going to say that probably could be something, but that could also be your uh, fears or your, your own, um, you know, something telling you this, this is probably what happened. They went back to the ex, they went back to the, 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 the uh, parents of the children. Okay. Um, so let's just see what's really happening with this person. What is really going on with this person? What is really going on with this person? All right. So we have the chariot card coming through about the background noise. The chariot card coming through with the four of wands. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at that. I feel like if you guys were using your intuition on this one, I'm going to tell you, I do feel like uh, what's really happening is this person went, went, uh, to see what, whatever it was that they can make work out. Okay. The reason I say that again, we had that six of cups. Look at the past, past, the past, past, past. That's the past. You guys, it's like somebody came through and reached out and they're going to, I'm going to go see if this is moving forward over here. Okay, um, it, it, and I do, I like, I've seen that Six of Cups coming through, but look at, it's like you got the Four of Wands, so this could indicate a relationship um, that this person went back to go deal with. Um, you know, I'm going to go see if it's going to work over here. So if they kind of got really just light on their 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 conversations and their communication, um, if you guys were kind of wondering about, especially that other parent, um, I cannot help but feel like that's just going to be a confirmation to you. Uh, when I did the Aries read, um, I, you know, I didn't, I, I was very adamant, do not make assumptions. Okay. Um, especially if you don't know uh, this one, I kind of feel like what I'm doing is confirming what your intuition is telling you. Okay. So let's just see, um, what their intentions were with you in the first place. What were their intentions? So we have the seven of cups right there. I'm keeping my options open. I'm just going to do me. I'm going to go out and get what I want at this, at this point. Okay. I really feel like that was pretty selfish of this person. I'm, I'm just going to go make myself happy, which I do say that's important to do. All right. But not when it comes risking uh, putting somebody else's feelings and, and their heart space, you know, on the line like that. You don't treat people like that. You also got the ace of wands in reverse. So that just tells me that somebody's thinking with the lower half of their body and not the upper half. Okay. So let's just see if they're coming back in the next 30 days. Are they coming back? Is this person coming back? Get one more. Oh, look at that. You got two. You got two transitions coming through. All right. You got your opportunity coming back in. So that karma, you know, that that closure, whatever it is that you're asking for, it's definitely going to come back through. So this is the transformation. Okay. Um, this is transformation. This person will make the decision to come towards you. All right. After stringing you along, using you, playing with your feelings and emotions and um, anything, uh, any other type of energy that they may have pulled from you or got from you that, uh, um, you didn't think they were going to do you like that. You know what I mean? Um, so I do feel like they are coming back I, I, and you're going to have this opportunity to ask them about the truth, but let's just see if they're going to tell you. So if they are asked, are they going to tell you the truth? Are they going to clarify what's happening? All right. So we got the sun card coming through. That's a pretty good indication. I like positive energy cards. You got the five of cups coming through and we have the king of wands. Look at that. Even in the upright. So I do feel like this person comes back. Didn't we see them in the Knight of wands earlier? Yeah. Right. Now they're coming back through in the upright. So, it, it, you know, it's going to be up to you guys um, on what you want to do with this in information. Um, you know, they're coming back. We see they're coming back, but you have free will. So you don't have to take them back. Um, but uh, God, you know, I just can't help but feel like there could be this bouncing. You know, if they just like if you don't hear from them for 30 days or 45 days or we're, we're, we're going to the 60 day mark, you know, because it, it, they've already been gone for 30 days. Um and they, and then they come back immediately to you and, and you're like, what happened? Oh, I did this, you know, just to be honest. Um, uh, and they immediately come back. That is somebody who is very, very unhealed. That is somebody who's definitely just playing games to keep, uh, to keep themselves from actually feeling like human feelings. That's kind of what I feel. 
All right. I do feel like they're going to come back and tell the truth, but let's just see what the potential is. If there's any potential left with this dynamic, is there any potential left for this dynamic? So we have the magician card. We have the three of pentacles showing up and we have the nine of swords coming through. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. The three of pentacles showing up in reverse. That just tells me that the foundation might be a little bit rocky. Okay. I feel like the potential is there through the magician card because that's a communication card. It's a travel card. It's like we're going to make stuff happen. Okay. But I feel like that's going to be for the, the, the few who actually want to give this person that, uh, that another chance. Some of you guys could just be so um, pissed off, you know, that you're just like, I don't even want to hear it with this person. Um, you know, especially if they have this in and out energy. So it's not like you, they're going to come back and you guys are going to get married, but I do feel like they're going to come back. They're going to give you their spill and, and then you're going to assess from there whether or not you're, you, you can accept that. As far as potential goes, if you accept it and, and then they have this out energy, I cannot help but feel like you're going to have the fears where this person might just do what they've already done to you guys. So just be careful with that. All right. Um, let's get some initials. Let's get some, and if, and if, and if you are too afraid of, uh, kind of, um, uh, uh, carrying wounds and hurts that, you know, you're not going to get over you guys, I'm going to tell you, don't even, under, don't even go there. If you know that this person's going to dip out again, or they're going to retract, or they're going to become, become a hermit and you know where it's going to take you, then maybe it's not worth, um, you entertaining again until you do some healing on that. Okay. Um, initials, we have IE. And the reason why I'm saying you is because typically, um, our fears will manifest, DN. Oh, look at that. FF. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. You guys take care.